my name is Riley Norman and I work with Lee Real Estate and today I'm going to talk to you about the home buying process. The first step in buying a home is getting you pre-approved. I have a ton of lenders on hand ready to help and serve you. So why we want to get a pre-approval is because you cannot purchase a house without a pre-approval letter. So what I'll do is get you in touch with one of my lenders and we will see how much you can afford and get that letter ready to go before we start the home search. Next, I'm going to set you up on an MLS search. The MLS is the multiple listing service. So realtors only have access to this. However, we are able to set up a search for our clients in order to send them properties that really match their criteria. So what I'll do is gather your email and some things from you that you're looking for and set up a search based on that. And every time a new property hits the market, it'll get sent to your email. After you start looking through that search portal, what you're gonna wanna do is just send me any houses that you really like and are interested in. You can send me a screenshot, text me the address, and I'm available usually to meet you that day to go show the property. In this market, it's really important to go see things as soon as they hit the market because things are going really quickly. Once you find a house that you really like and you wanna make an offer on it, it won't take me long to write up a quick contract, have you guys sign it, and then we'll go ahead and send that to the listing agent and the sellers will review it. In this market, you might make more than one offer on a house so you might not get the first one, um, but if you do, uh, we'll go ahead and execute that contract, get everything signed, ready to go, and then you're under contract. After you go under contract, there's a couple of things financially that you need to be prepared for. I think some realtors forget to tell you or they just expect that you already know these expenses are coming. So I just wanna give you a little refresher if you've already purchased a home and if you haven't, what to expect after going under contract. So two of the expenses that you're gonna to have to pay within the first three days of executing, meaning all parties have signed the contract and we're good to go, is your earnest and option money. Your earnest money is typically 1% of the sales price of the home. So let's say your home that you're going under contract with is 300,000. It's usually gonna be about $3,000. Um, it can be more. If there's multiple offers, some people try to offer a little bit more um, just to look appealing to the seller, so keep that in mind. And then there's also your option money, which is typically about $150 give or take, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, depending on the situation. Just to go into detail about what earnest and option money are, earnest money is kind of your good faith deposit saying that you intend to purchase the property. So your option money, on the other hand, is the sellers giving you the unrestricted right to terminate during your option period or inspection period. Another thing to keep in mind is your inspection period. So during this inspection period, you wanna have an inspector come out and just check the condition of your home. This might range from $500 or more based on the square footage of your home, if it has a pool or some other things. So at least set aside $500 for your inspection just so we can see the condition of the home and have an expert take a look. So after we get your inspection report, there might be some things that you want fixed uh, by the seller. And so that's when we would go and ask the seller to either make some repairs or give a seller concession, which would basically be giving you money towards your closing costs in order to fix those things after closing. One last expense you should be aware of is the appraisal. This will usually cost you about $500 and this is a lender requirement in order to basically make sure the value you're under contract for meets what they're lending you. So after all this is said and done and we are ready to close, we're usually about two weeks out from closing. I'll be your right hand man for anything that you need, any questions you have regarding this process. And I'm so excited that you have decided to purchase a home. So quick recap for you, uh, the four expenses I want you to be aware of is the earnest money, your option money, inspection money, and appraisal. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you have any questions regarding this video, please reach out to me. I am happy to help at any time.